Munal Faris has waited her entire life for this moment. And at the stroke of midnight, she was one of the first women behind the wheel, and we got to ride along. So how does it feel? Has it sunk in yet? I know. No, I'm still, I'm, I'm still having uh, like a weird feeling that someone is going to stop me now, get arrested, you know? Did you ever think this day will come? No, never. Actually, never. It was one of the things that I thought it's impossible. It's never going to happen. But many around the country say they're in no rush to get on the road just yet. They want to wait and see how one of the most conservative societies in the world will react. And some just want to practice a bit more before making their way onto territory, once reserved only for men. It's been a long and rough journey. Women who protested and defied the ban over the years were arrested, shunned by society. Some of these women will not have the chance to get behind the wheel yet because they're behind bars, detained recently as part of a crackdown on human rights activists. Some feel it's perhaps a message that in this kingdom, change will only come from the top down. Many here credit their young crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, with a wave of once unthinkable changes in the ultra-conservative country and his so-called Vision 2030, an ambitious plan to modernize Saudi Arabia, diversify its economy away from oil, and bring more women into the workforce. Oh my God, where am I? Am I still in Jeddah? You know, or in Saudi Arabia, what's happening? Because every time there's something, it hits you. A new decree, something new, something new, and it was like, wow, all these changes, all of a sudden. For more than 40 years, Sahar Nasif has campaigned for women's rights in Saudi Arabia. In 2013, she was one of the women who protested the ban by driving. She was briefly detained. I'm 64 right now, and uh, to be honest, this is not done for, I'm, I didn't do all this for me. I did it for my kids and my, for my grandkids, to make sure they live in uh, more freedom and they have their rights. Uh, I never thought I would live through it. Nasif, like many others, wants to see an end to the repressive guardianship law where women, no matter how old or how young, can't do some basic things like travel or work without the consent of a male guardian. And the next step, I totally am so optimistic, is going to be getting rid of the guardianship. Like the driving is, I always said, the driving is only a door opening to a lot of other things. For now, though, it's about savoring this moment. And not being scared of anybody. Jumana Karache, CNN, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia.